Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to introduce a new approach to development which is called dynamic systems theory. This is a totally different approach than the other ones we've looked at and we're going to start with some basic ideas that at first will seem kind of unrelated. Some of you may be familiar with ideas from dynamic systems theory if you've seen the original Jurassic Park from 1994. See the Tyrannosaur uh... Uh, doesn't have any set patterns or, or, or park schedules. It's the essence uh, of chaos. But we'll come back to that a little bit later. For now, let's begin with the simple concept of trajectory. So to explain the concept of trajectory, remember first how when we're talking about human development, we're talking about changes in people over time. A trajectory is just the path of change. So, if I'm walking around, my path through the environment, shown in red here, would be a trajectory. So the red line here would be like a top-down view, or view from the side, of my movement through the environment over some period of time. But we can also talk about trajectories in a more mathematically abstract way. So for example, imagine we graph the number of words that a child speaks over a period of months. Here we could see a trajectory as a line, and this represents the number of words spoken for each month. So you can see the number of words is increasing over time, and the trajectory is going up. Now, these aren't my legs. I, of course, am wearing a suit and tie right now, but they could be my legs if I had motion tracking hardware. So what you see here are a person's legs with a bunch of small gray nodes attached to them. And the nodes are used by a motion tracking device to record the position of each node in space and over time. So imagine we were to have this person walk on a treadmill here, as shown in the picture, and we use the motion tracking device to record the movements of various nodes. If we were to look at what's recorded when we do this, we might see something like this. So this graph is showing the left thigh angle and right thigh angle calculated from the outputs of the motion tracking device as the person walks on a treadmill. So you can see that there's a repeating, roughly repeating line. The fact that the line's roughly repeating reflects the fact that as a person walks, each step looks roughly like the previous steps. But it doesn't perfectly repeat the previous steps. The angles of your, your thighs on either side with respect to the ground, change slightly for each step, even though each step is similar to the other steps. So this is why we get a pattern like this when we use a motion tracking device to record someone's walking. So this is another example, this line traced here, this is an example of a trajectory. So in the next video, we'll build on this by looking at some patterns that can be observed with trajectories.